Yo, hey dude. Oh, hey dude. What's up? Yo, I noticed you finally upgraded your graphics card. Yeah, works like a charm. Cool, cool. Hey, so about your old GPU. Yeah, what about it? Have you ever considered, you know, giving it away? Uh, not really. Why? I, I mean, you know, some people could probably use it. Kinda like me. Are you suggesting I give you my old GTX 1650? I mean, hey, you said it, man, not me. <sighs> you really want an old graphics card? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> I tell you what, give me a sec. Huh. <sighs> Alright, here you go, dude. Oh, thanks, man. I HATE TEAM RED! Whoa, chill, what the hell's your problem? I only like NVIDIA stuff, bro, what the hell? Jeez, freaking stands. <sighs> hey, wait a minute. What is that? Oh, that under my GPU? Oh, that's my Wi-Fi and I see. What are you using Wi-Fi for? Well, you know, just in case my own Wi-Fi goes down, I can at least have a backup. Huh? How are you supposed to get Wi-Fi if your own service is down? <laughs> We're both Asian, I think we know the answer to that. Right, so from what brand is it? Oh, uh, TP-Link. Wait, the one that's allegedly spying on users? Allegedly, and I don't even care. Speak for yourself, bro, I can't trust any of these products anymore from China. First TikTok and now this? Well, technically you do know that TikTok CEO is Singaporean, right? Yeah, therefore he's from China. No, they're not the same, <sighs> whatever. Dude, I can't risk people spying on my data anymore, man. Well, if you're so concerned, why don't you just use a VPN service? What's a VPN? It's a virtual private network. It keeps your data secure by linking a connection with your computer to a remote server. I mean, hey, if you're interested, you can check out more VPN. Link in the description for the affiliate link. Oh, okay. Well, I might consider. Anyway, get that thing off. What are you doing? Get out, get out, get out. <laughs> Ah, problem solved. What the hell, man? Hey, at the end of the day, you're not even gonna be using Wi-Fi. I guess. Hey, you know what? If it makes you any better, I found this on Shopee for only $8 through conversion, so check it out. Uh, okay, but where did you buy this from? Oh, I actually didn't check. Uh, okay, you may want to check this out. Anyway, what did he even give me? Huh. A 2.5 gigabit ethernet card. What a way to compensate. Wait, why am I so surprised? I literally saw the listing on my phone earlier. However, there is just one issue. I am going to be somewhat bottlenecked here. And yes, before you ask, that is actually possible. You can be bottlenecked by your network. Now, as I mentioned, this is a 2.5 gigabit ethernet card, meaning I should have speeds of up to 2.5 gigabit possible. But there are two things to consider here. One is your ethernet cable. Your ethernet can bottleneck depending on its cat generation. In my case, I have cat 8, which supports up to 40 gigabits per second. So I'm not really bottlenecked with my ethernet. But another thing to consider is your speed plan. Of course, the main source of your internet. In my case, I am very sorry to disappoint, but I cannot properly test this 2.5 gigabit ethernet card because my speed plan is, I think, less than one gigabit per second. However, I'd like to mention that there are more things you can do besides just networking when it comes to one of these things. Now first, let me answer the question if you need something like this. Well, I'm gonna tell you now, if you're someone who just likes to game or whatever, you don't need a 2.5 gigabit per second ethernet card. This is very overkill. Something like this is mainly meant for servers or NASes. And now let's go to my point of what benefits can this have besides networking? Well first, it can help with transfer speeds. But don't be confused from drive to drive transfer speeds, I mean PC to PC transfer speeds. Having a better network card can very much help with file transfers between two PCs. Again, not drives because those are dependent on your drives itself. 
But I still wanted to test something in this video, which is testing out the difference between using Wi-Fi for gaming, using my 1 gigabit Ethernet on board, and this 2.5 gigabit card. I still want to see if there is any improvement even though you are limited by your speed plan. But before all that, I wanted to inspect the physical quality of the card itself. Overall, it looks really... well, I wouldn't say it's the best quality, but it's, it's quality. The heat spreader looks pretty good and you may be wondering why I classify that as good when clearly my NIC for Wi-Fi is better and bigger. Well the thing is, Ethernet cards actually output way less heat than Wi-Fi cards, so yeah. Also included in the box was this smaller adapter. This right here is perfect for older PC cases where it's definitely smaller. I mean, I have one on my quote-unquote test bench, so this is definitely a good add to have. As you can see, it just goes through like those screws there. Just, you know, remove these. Here is the Ethernet port itself. And yeah, very simple build, PCIe one-time slot. And as far as I know, this does not really need any external drivers. The real tech drivers are enough for this. So let's go. Real quick, here are the Ookla results for both the Wi-Fi and the Ethernet. For an Ethernet connection, I managed to get around 317.16 megabytes per second download and 822.73 megabytes per second upload. Meaning that my plan is basically just around 1 gigabit per second. Now for a Wi-Fi connection, we got a significantly lower 387.42 upload, but still basically the same 308 download. For our built-in motherboard's Ethernet, which is a 1 gigabit connection, we get an average network RTT of around below 20 ms, with seemingly a 0% packet loss and a packet's loss total of about 4. Network RTT jitter was around 1 millisecond, but usually less than that, and it only really spiked to 2 at most, but just for a little bit. And this right here is the gameplay of the Wi-Fi connection as you can see it is very similar even the packets loss total is two wow does that mean that the debate between ethernet and wi-fi is actually insignificant now those results may have shocked you but there's actually a reason as to why they're very similar well again in terms of valor and gameplay the reason why is i am literally right next to my router as a lot of you may know, the closer you are to your router, the less chances you'll experience bad connections. And it really goes to show here, in those Ookla tests, you can clearly see that there were some differences, but in terms of gaming, it's not that noticeable anyway. Again, granted, if you use Wi-Fi and you're sitting next to your router, or your PC is sitting next to your router. But of course, if your router is a little bit further away, you will see some differences. Anyway, let's install our... Frick. Our network card. So once again, we're going to have to uninstall our current Wi-Fi card. And just like that. There we go. This is what I'm talking about, by the way. This heat spreader compared to this heat spreader. So now we simply install it in the PCIe slot. Just like that. Yeah, you guys finally get to see my cable management. Now we take our Ethernet cable and then we just plug it in right over here. Hey, there we go. Once again, the onboard driver should be enough, so you don't really have to install anything else. And then, uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, God, okay. As you can see right down there, we have an Ethernet connection. So let's real quickly check our stats. And as you can see, we have two Ethernet connections. One here is the motherboard, which is not connected to anything. And right here is the other card. And as you can see right there, we only have a one gigabit per second connection. Once again, this isn't a scam. This can, in fact, reach up to 2.5 gigabit per second well theoretically but i am bottlenecked by my speed plan which it appears to be one gigabit per second so let's see what happens well if it isn't obvious to begin with yeah it's basically exactly the same as the ethernet one just to be clear except during my duration i did notice there was absolutely zero packets lost total but uh, i apologize for that that's all folks so basically, there's my point proven. You have to take in consideration for your speed plan, your ethernet cable quality, and of course whether or not you actually need 2.5 gigabit internet. Again, unless if you're running like a NAS PC, you really don't need something like this. Something like freaking just, just a Wi-Fi card, okay, is already good enough as a backup. You don't have to waste a PCIe slot on that. So let's talk about the longevity of this thing. Personally, the build quality is... It's not the best, but it's definitely okay for something of that price. Now again, would I recommend something like that to you? Again, if you're running an ass, sure. If you're just gaming, definitely not. I mean, with just a 1 gigabit per second connection, that was already very smooth. No latency at all. Well, I mean, you know, excluding... Uh, whatever, that don't matter. So my conclusion for your PC rig, if you really want something like this, don't stop yourself. 
Min-maxing your Wi-Fi is not really something that's very needed, so don't bother. Again, the only real benefits of this is file transfer speeds between PC to PC and other stuff that I'll list right now. But yeah, I didn't really expect this video to end shorter than I thought. But that's all I could really test anyway. I just wanted to answer the question if things like this is something you should buy or just skip out on. Because at the end of the day, it'll all just go to China trash. And hey, if your built-in motherboard already has more than 1 gigabit per second Ethernet connections, then why bother? But of course, if you're really bottlenecked, maybe let's say your motherboard for some reason only has like a, I don't know, 100 megabit per second Ethernet cable. Yeah, sure, invest in one of those, I suppose. You're not gonna take full advantage of it, but hey, at least you're taking some advantage of it. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say for this video. Thank you guys so much for the recent support. We are at, what are we, 2,230 something subscribers now by the time I'm recording this. I, I really don't know what to say. The support is crazy. And again, if you guys are interested in protecting your data and privacy, then head on to the affiliate link below for NordVPN. You don't have to, but that's completely up to you again. Thank you guys again for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys maybe in a few days. I'm not sure. I have a video planned again, so let's see how that goes. China. Welcome back, tracking device. Mm. Oh, hey, you want this back? Oh yeah, and have more spyware on my data? Yeah, no thank you. Alright, fair enough.